The framing, yes, but the lighting. Uh... Hey, partner. Oh. <sighs> Hello. Why <sighs> today, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Huh? Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. John Marston. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Well, good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. <laughs> oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Snaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. the bag. Leave the meat, mister. Leave it. You don't want me chasing you. Cody, heal. And Coyote, don't think about coming back. Full meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm thank you. Don't worry about I'm, it. Uh, you take care, sir. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Please, if I'm to attract any wildlife, I'll need some privacy. If that's coming from there, then it's a westerly, so... Or is it an easterly? We're fine. We're... Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Marston. Mr. Marston. I'm sorry, my my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. Oh, I hope not. What you trying to take a picture of? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves. So you're determined to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. Thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Sure, if you've managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I, I... I'll wait with you for a while. Anything shows up, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. <laughs> you don't know me very well yet. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Marsden? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through a lack of trying on their part. Had a bad run-in with some once. Some friends of mine saved me. Wolves ain't great fans of man. Don't blame them. Yeah. Neither do I. Shh, shh. There's one. I think we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boy. 
boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. It's sort of it. Magnificent creatures. Especially when they're clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Just wolves. Is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the my door. Whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. So... You think that photograph will come out? I can't say with certainty, but I'm hopeful, sir. I'm due some good luck, no? <laughs> yeah, carry on like this. I'm not sure you are. Uh, just checking this equipment, if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. I've got hydrophobia-phobia. Perhaps a wildlife photographer needs steadier nerves. Or a longer tube for this shutter bulb. Much, much longer tube, and a cave to hide in, with bars on the outside. I'll be some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. up on you, you know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mr. Marston. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Uh, only the basics. Avoid them whenever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> well, let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death roll. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today. You stay there, you'll get a great shot, but then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get the boat. It'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. Well, you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yeah. 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That, that's probably where we should look. Okay, let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. I got it. Oh, look. On that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop gets butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. It's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. Give me this shot, I beg you. Just a little turn, please. Now, turn us. Turn. Turn. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Gator's got some catching up to do then. 
Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. No, gator's gonna do with your leather is eating. Maybe chew on it a while. <laughs> Quite. It's hardly fair. Right. Right. There, in the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. You see its head? Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer. Chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. Paddle steamer, huh? Why didn't we think of that? Seventeen feet, nineteen feet, twenty-one feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's twenty-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a twelve-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't a shame to this rowing fool, who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big ones. <laughs> yes, yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah! Could you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. If we stop too long, the locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might... It might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. But... Maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh. That's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go, then. Get him and, uh, Get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. If I'm eating... I hope he... Keep going! Through the palms! Oh, disappeared toward the back of the island. Over here, boy. Got some juicy, fat humans for you to eat. Help! He's awake! I hope you're slow. Come on, Gator. Quick! Jump in the boat! In, 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 in! Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Marston. Take us back to where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, assuredly. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe, maybe, but usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They gonna be any good? Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. <laughs> You sure do make me laugh the way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. 
Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Uh, don't worry about it. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. And try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. <laughs> Careful up here. This land can be real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yeah. Funny how things turn out. Ain't never how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Yeah, so I believe, but move back from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle. They're, they're, they're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh, damn! You were right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. Ali. Good morning. 